let me show you how to use this automotive filler primer property properly <laughs> all right so i got a front bumper off of a uh i believe it's a it's like a 60s model uh caprice now typically areas like this you want to bondo up but i mean it's literally it's smooth to the touch so but you'll see the crack uh, let's do it so after you sand this thing down to where you got it nice and smooth you go ahead and get your filler primer i don't already shook this bad boy up now I like to use uh, I like to use this thing so my finger isn't hurting when I'm just continuously spraying or hurting my forearm. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the the uh, sprayer. Make sure the sprayer is nice and straight, just like that. Go ahead and do a couple uh, test sprays on my on my moving blanket or whatever you use. Looks good, spraying good. All right, and then you can do exact same stroke, just like you're painting a car with a uh, regular gravity gun. You want to get nice flat coverage across the board. You don't want to see no lines. My nose is tripping. Let's see. Shake this bad well, but this is pretty much what you're looking at. It's real easy. Keep the sprayer nice and straight. All right, so this is what we're gonna be looking at right here. You got the nice prime on it. You're gonna have to hit in those areas. Man, you can do the same, same little method. Side to side. Spray is tripping. The spray is tripping on you, you just See, it's kind of clogging up at the hole. You're gonna turn it upside down and try to spray it a few times. See, now this nozzle's getting stuck. All right. Nice flat cover, so you're just going to do that all the way across. It's really easy. So right, right here you can see the used to be color, if you will. And then our nice smooth primer. You can actually go back and wet sand that too. So remember this is filler primer fills in cracks and little nooks. But if the cracks are too big, it ain't going to fill those in. So. Like that right there, see? It's probably not gonna fill it in. So make sure y'all get with us. All right, it's been about 40 minutes or less. And you can see that we got a nice, clean consistency on the bumper of the front, front, front piece. Real smooth. So you can't just use a spray can. You just gotta make sure when you're laying that that fan down that the lines overlap so you don't get lines in your in your finished product. So we hit this piece. I got a little bottom tail piece, and then we got this uh, back piece which I didn't hit the inside of it because the lights are going to go in there but you know we got the edges the top come out really good the customer all, of, all he wanted us to do was to sand it and prime it that's it he's going to get it painted so 
There's another one for y'all. Make sure you get at us. Put them all mechanic dollar.